Hey besties, it's Gracie here. Wanted to come at you with a makeup removal tutorial for whenever I go to the gym. Most of the time, whenever I go to the gym, I'm on the go and I always keep uh, cotton swab, cotton rounds in my car as well as a little makeup remover. This is the Equate um, oil-free eye makeup remover, but I use it for my whole face because if it's gentle enough for your eyes, it's gentle enough for the rest of your skin is kind of how I look like it. Look like it. Look at it. Also featuring this little turd that literally ruined my day. I had a big meeting this morning and I woke up with it just like little Mount Vesuvius over here. Happens to the best of us. Anyway, so before I go to the gym, I'm going to leave gonna leave in like an hour but wanted to go ahead and just get some clean skin i personally hate working out with makeup because i feel like my pores can't breathe i feel like all that dirty nasty makeup is literally just sinking into my skin and it can't get out and then if you sweat you get that makeup like dripped all over your clothes and it's just disgusting it gets on your shirt and then it's just like you see streaks like running down your neck and I just feel disgusting doing it. So every chance I get, I take my makeup off before I go to a workout. I personally go to Orange Theory, which is a high intensity um, kind of workout class. It's a group oriented and you will sweat in that class. You will not get out of it. Even if you walk or power walk or decrease the weight or row um with less intensity you will be sweating your booty off in that class so it's just always good to take off the makeup before you go do something you know with a high intensity so while i'm taking my makeup off i'm just going to kind of share some tips that i've learned about the best makeup removers and the worst makeup removers because i've really tried to mix up all of them over the years and I think I finally found what works best for me. So we're gonna hop into it. But before we start, I need to get this mop up out of my way. So let's see. A little fun bun action going on here. I feel like I can't ever get a fun, I feel like I can't ever get a fun bun right. Like I never do it consistently. Oh, oh. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think that's like the best bun that's ever turned out for me. Like, let's do a spin. She's cute. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, so I kind of have thin hair, like you can gather that. I think that is one of the best buns I've ever done because you know, if you're watching this video, you're probably either a tall girl, you have thin hair, you want, you know, budget beauty tricks. Um, but for those thin haired girlies who might be watching this, you know that it's hard to do a good messy bun. So it's a shame that this is going to get torn down in my workout in a little while, but it's fine. Moving so, on. Starting off with some of the worst ways to take off your makeup. This is just a personal opinion. If it works for you, you go bestie, you do you. I just know personally what's worked for me. I'm not a professional. I just know what works, whatever I've seen in the past. So for me personally, I started out as a kid using, as a kid, I was like probably 13 when I first started using makeup. And my mom got me started on some kind of like, coconut oil makeup remover where you would literally just rub coconut oil all over your face and expect it to remove your makeup. If that works for some of you girlies that wear very light natural makeup, love that for you. I tend to wear a little bit more full coverage makeup with like a lot of mascara as you can see. Um, and that the coconut oil situation just does not work for me. So I literally would scrub my eyeballs off trying to get remove the makeup with coconut oil and I just got to the point where I stopped wearing mascara because I couldn't take I couldn't take it off okay just to show you how good my makeup is like literally it's just uh I'll do a tutorial on my makeup routine later but I've just discovered a really new mm, a really new makeup pack that I will share with you I promise 
Anyway, stop using mascara because it just literally wasn't coming off whenever I was using coconut oil. So I, after that, honestly, I stopped using makeup altogether for a couple of years. I just became a really simple girly, which is, you know, I loved that time of my life. But then I got older and I wanted to start enhancing my beauty a little bit more. And I also started getting more professional jobs and I wanted to look more put together. So then when I got into college, my mom, okay, so here's what I'm doing. I used that on my eye to take off my mascara and then I'm just turning it over because it still has some of the remover on there and just using that to take it off of my skin. Um, as you can see, she's very red, like I'm literally very, very, very red tinted. Um, not really sure why, but I have a lot of redness under my skin. So you can always tell whenever a makeup uh, product is not working well for me. If it's not working well for me, you'll still see the redness under my skin when I put it on. But this makeup is so fantastic that, I mean, it's just, it's night and day on how good the coverage is. Um. Anyway, when I got into college, my mom was trying to help me save money because I had just started using the Neutrogena makeup wipes where, if you know, they're expensive as heck. They are, the last time I bought them, which I'm sure the prices are a little bit different because it's been probably two years. The last time I purchased a pack was you got around 12 or 13 makeup wipes for like $12, 11 or $12. That's ridiculous. And especially as a college student, I mean, I couldn't afford that. Where am I getting money like that for? I literally was getting, um, I was making seven twenty-five an hour during college. That's over an hour of me working just to pay for my makeup wipes. I can't do that. So my mom for Christmas got me one of the magic eraser wipes and I loved it at first because, I mean, obviously it's just super, super good for the environment and um, it's just, it saves you so much money because you purchase it, you can just throw it in the washer. Uh, I ended up getting, I believe, two of the makeup wipes. That way I could have one in the wash while I was using one at the same time um, and it was just super efficient that way. But then I started noticing I was getting a lot of texture on my face. I mean, and I'll finish taking my makeup off so that you can kind of see, but I kid you not, I got the worst texture on my face that I've ever had in my life. It was really bad. And I thought it might've been my lotion. I thought it might've been, um, you know, just like touching my face too much. I thought it might've been my makeup. So I changed several different things in my regimen thinking it can't be my makeup wipes, right? No, it was my makeup wipe. So the magic eraser was just not my friend. It did not work. Um, it's always hard to kind of get off those lower lashes, but it's really important to, or you're going to look like you've been crying you know so also some people might not be a fan but I like that it makes your skin feel a little bit smooth like there's a little bit of oil to it whenever you use um whenever you use this is an oil free makeup remover but it still just gives your um, skin a really smooth feel whenever you get done using it which I personally really like um anyway Gotta make sure you get that makeup off your neck. Hope you blended your foundation down there. Cause we've all seen them girlies who don't blend their foundation. Wouldn't want to be her. Just kidding, I used to be her. Don't come for me. Okay, next. I always like to rinse my face just a little bit. Um, kind of wipe off some of the, um, like, it's not oil because it's an oil-free makeup remover, but it still gives you a little bit of an oily feel. So I'm a rinse. Be right back. I'm back. All I did there was just splash some water on my face just to kind of prep my skin to have soap on it. And then I go in with a facial cleanser. I am not, 
I'm not faithful to one facial cleanser. I'm just not. I personally buy whatever is cheap because it's all going to clean your face. You know, I, I do understand that there are some cleansers that are way better than others. I personally can't tell a really big difference in using different facial cleansers. I just use whatever is cheap at CVS Pharmacy. Okay, don't come at me. So this is the one that I use. It's the daily acne wash. It's oil free. It has a 2% salicylic acid acne treatment. It's compared to the Neutrogena um, oil free acne wash. And we love the Neutrogena. Neutrogena is the bomb. So I'm just going to go in and squirt some on my hands and then just massage that on my face. <sighs> oh, I got it on my tongue. That's disgusting. Don't call poison control. Hopefully, I always have to make sure I get under my eyes because I'm really bad to not bring my cleanser up that far. And I am aware that I have a five head. You don't have to point that out. That's just the way the good Lord made me. Anyway. Also, make sure you get by your nose. I think I got some in my eye. Um, make sure you get in the corner of your nose because that's where a lot of blackheads like to hide. So I like to cook this minute just to massage my face while I'm at it. And I realized that I could have already wiped this off. But I think it's important to massage your face. Get all the blood flow in there every chance you get. So it can heal and rejuvenate. Make sure you get your neck. Because we're not trying to age. We're trying to be young forever. Okay, going to rinse that off. I don't know about you, but one of the most satisfying things about taking my makeup off is when I have like some stuff on my hands and I rinse it off and I can see the water like brown from my makeup. I don't know why that is one of the most satisfying things. It's just, it's such a form of entertainment for me. Okay, now that I've gotten, I just grabbed a, a wash rag and put warm water over it just to, I like warm water, not hot water because you don't want to dry out your skin really bad, but warm water is really just my favorite and it's so relaxing. Make sure you get like behind your neck. Also, something that I've learned is that it's important to double cleanse your face. So I think one of the reasons, one of the habits that contributed to my teenage acne was I was not properly cleaning my face. I know I wasn't. What I would do is I would either take a makeup wipe, one of the disposable makeup wipes, and just wipe my face down one time and go to bed. It hurts me. Don't come after me. Yes, I did that for years. You live and you learn, you mature. I know better than that now. Thank goodness. So, I would wipe my face, just go to bed. Now I've learned that, okay, you know, you have to, well, I learned this several years ago. Okay, you have to actually wash your face after you use a makeup wipe because, I have a hair, because the makeup wipe is not actually cleaning your face. It's just kind of knocking some of the makeup off. Then I just recently learned that, okay, here's what I did. So here's like the front of my rag, has all the makeup on it, all that crap. I'm going to wash my, like, rinse my face off twice, okay? Because if you don't wash it twice or cleanse your face twice, you're probably not getting all the makeup off. And I kid you not, probably 90% of the time that I do this, I still get makeup off in the second time that I cleanse my face. So I'm going to rinse this off really well and just get the makeup off and also flip it over just for good measure. And just wipe my face off again. It's important to be gentle when you're doing this because, and I'm not scrubbing super hard, I'm just kind of gently wiping because I have made myself raw by doing this before. 
um yeah i got i literally just got more makeup off of my face and you i mean you guys see that i was scrubbing my face now i'm trying to do good about like going up whenever i'm moisturizing and whenever i'm cleansing my neck so that i don't cause more baggage and wrinkles okay so i did get more makeup off that time but that way you know your face is clean so especially before i go work out i want to know that my pores are clean and cleansed so that i can go get sweaty and then clean them again but that's just part of life so one of my new favorite moisturizers that I've discovered is the Olay Complete um, UV365 Daily Moisturizer with sunscreen. So it's been really interesting to me. I, for the past probably 10 years, I would just use whatever moisturizer was a good brand that I trusted. But as we've been learning in the past, well, I've been learning within the last six months that we're supposed to put sunscreen on every time we moisturize and then it helps with anti-aging helps prevent cancer sun damage all of that gorgeous jazz so i broke over the other day and thought i need to start doing that because i'm trying to stay looking young forever so i went to cvs <laughs> i love drugstore products guys it's fine we're trying to just all be on a budget here we're all going to be thrifty together so anyway, I went to CVS and looked for a moisturizer that had sunscreen already in it because I know me and I am too lazy. I know that I'm too lazy to put a moisturizer on and then also put a sunscreen on or whichever order you're supposed to do those. I know that I wouldn't do that extra step. So I just want one thing that I can put on my face. I know that I'm giving my skin what I need. So going in with a little bit of this guy. Also, here's a tip. Here's a tip for whenever you're doing skincare before you go work out. Don't go crazy with a moisturizer. You do need to put moisturizer on before you go work out. Because the other day this happened to me. I, <laughs> I was doing my skincare before I went to go work out one evening. Okay. And I did not have a moisturizer like handy so i just thought ah eh, i don't need moisturizer i'm just going to work out i'm only going to be there for like an hour i'm going to come back and shower and then i'll do my skincare so i don't even really need to moisturize my face right wrong wrong that was not right that was not correct because whenever i was working out my skin started burning I mean just like on fire red it felt like someone had scrubbed my face with a dry brush it was really really uncomfortable and I put it together that because I had cleaned cleansed my face really well and then I had sweated a lot I think all of the salt from my sweat was getting onto my already probably raw and dry face and just created a burning sensation so don't be like me, be smart, do your moisturizer. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna put a little bit more on though. I mean, cause I didn't put any on my neck. Um, don't go crazy though whenever you are putting on moisturizer because if you do put too much, it can have the opposite effect and you can get, you know, lotion and sunscreen in your eye while you're sweating. But if you are being really, really careful and not putting a lot around your eyes or on your eyebrows or anything. Like, I think you're fine. Anyway, hope this makeup removal tutorial was helpful for you guys before you go work out. Um, it's been really helpful for me and my skin just to be more healthy and not have so much, um, so many breakouts on my skin and not have so much texture on, especially on my cheeks by taking off my makeup before I go work out. So, Hope this helps. As always, like and subscribe for more budget-friendly, tall girl fashion, makeup, hair, etc. All the things. Um, thanks for watching and go get your workout in.